guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm not gonna do some big long intro. I really wanna jump into this today. I am going to be reviewing a foundation and this is not just any foundation. This is probably the first, no, it's the first foundation that I can remember ever using where a claim is heavily marketed of the foundation that you can sleep in it. Why would you wanna sleep in it? I don't know. I think the only reason they're saying that is not to necessarily encourage you to sleep in it, but to tell you that that is how good the formula is, that it's not gonna hurt your skin if you do sleep in it. I don't encourage sleeping in makeup, ever. Just let me put my two cents in. But this is the Euphoria Date Night Skin Tint Serum Foundation. I got this from Credo Beauty. They sell it maybe other places other than the Euphoria and Credo. I'll have to look into that. It is $48. It comes in 15 shades. I am in the shade number 245, which is a light to medium shade with neutral undertones. Medium buildable coverage claims to give a glass skin effect. Says that it sinks into skin like quicksand for a no makeup look. Never seen that description before. 68% skincare ingredients. When I looked at the ingredient deck, it is a very large ingredient deck. I didn't see anything that stood out as concerning. This is sold at Credo, so it is technically marketed as a clean product. Some people believe in that, some people do not. I am just saying it's a product that they say you can sleep in. It also says that it has a patented tannin complex, which I'm not quite sure what that is other than it claims to control sebum production. So while it doesn't say in the description who they say it's best suited for as far as skin types, that would lead me to believe that if you have more combo to even maybe oily skin, it's gonna help control the oil, but then also it says to have a glass skin effect, and if you have super oily skin, you may not want that. So we shall see. Let's go ahead and get to using this. I have probably used this about 10 times now. I have taken notes. I have used it with different sunscreens. I have used it with different powders. I have my favorites. And I'm gonna go ahead and tell you one of my very favorites is the Numbuzzin sunscreen, which is what I have on today. And then at the very end, I will let you know a couple of others that I liked with it and a couple I didn't like so much with it. So it does come with a pump, nice frosted glass container. One thing I like about this is that I don't feel like you need a ton of product. I have only ever used one pump for my entire face and neck. And even though it claims to be a serum foundation, this is not what I would consider a serum consistency for a foundation. It is not running down my hand. It is not liquidy or watery in any form or fashion. It's actually more of a kind of thicker mousse-like texture. So I haven't done any fancy ways of applying this. I simply do it like I do all the rest of my foundations. This is the A Cosmetics number no. seven brush and I just dotted it on and I'm going to stipple it out. The color is good for me. Again, light to medium neutral, number 245. It is, because it is a thicker foundation, it does not automatically sink into the skin like some of my other formulas, but it's also not something that I feel like doesn't ever blend out. But also because it's a thicker formula, I do think it's important to start small and add if you feel like you need more because Formulas like this that tend to be a little bit thicker don't take long to really build up on the skin and you, you, you kind of lose that effect that the claims are saying as far as weightless and glass skin, looks like skin, all of that kind of stuff. When you start adding too much product on the front end, it's way easier to add than it is to take away. So I just really recommend on thicker formulas like this to start small. So that is half the face. This is without. Now the Numbuzzin sunscreen has no tint to it whatsoever. So this is my skin. And you can see my redness. This side is, is typically more red than the other. So we'll see how it covers. But I do have a very distinct line of redness where it just kind of goes down my face. And I do feel like it covered that up really well. And I would say the medium coverage is a true claim. I do feel like this has a strong medium coverage. I'm not quite sure about the neutral claim on this specific shade. 
It is not orange, but it does have a little bit more yellow in it than I would consider a true neutral shade to have. I ordered this online, so I can't speak to what the other shades look like, but it might be worth if you're interested in it, like really kind of seeing if you can find swatches, maybe going on Euphoria's Instagram, see if you can find different shades there to determine what shade's gonna be best for you. But this one still works out well. I have, y'all, I have new hairs. And they are really sprouting up at my hairline right here, making it tough to blend out foundations on my forehead. But I am not complaining. So look, I still have a good amount of that one pump and just to not waste it, I'll continue to add it on my neck, but I really don't need it. So you could probably, honestly, depending on how much coverage you're wanting, how much you need to cover up, you can probably get away with like starting with half of a pump. So I can still see a little tiny bit of my redness here. It is not enough for me to care about or feel like I need to build up the coverage because again, I don't want to get too much product on my skin. This is the product up close. I mean, if I really, really, really look, I can tell I have foundation on, but it's not grossly evident. I really I kind of like how it looks on the skin. I'm happy with the coverage it provides. I don't find it's hard to work with. I like the finish of it. Fast skin, I don't know. I mean, this is kind of what my skin looks like before I put foundation on because of all of my skincare. And it's gonna change as I apply more makeup on top. But this is what it looks like. Really less than one pump. I'm gonna finish up my makeup. We'll see what it looks like with everything else on top. Finished up with a full face of makeup. I will, again, tell you what I liked best over it at the end of the video, but I did use my Fit Glow Beauty Blurring Bamboo Powder today. And if you can see, it did take down some of that initial shine. And that's why I love this powder so much is because it takes down, for me and my preferences, the just right amount of shine. So I don't feel like I look super flat, but I also am not on the cusp of like greasy looking for me and my preferences. So love that powder. And again, spoiler alert, the Numbuzzin SPF and the Fit Glow Beauty powder is probably my favorite combination with this foundation. But I'll do a little close up so you can see how everything laid on. I do have a cream highlight on today. Everything else is matte. Not emphasizing anything I don't want emphasized. I'm gonna go about my day. I am working out today. I am going to be doing a check-in at the end of the day so that you can see how this wears for the next eight to nine to 10 hours. And then I'll give you my final thoughts at that time. So I will see you in multiple hours for you just a second. Okay, it's been a long day, y'all. It has been about eight and a half, almost nine hours since I first applied this foundation and I have done a lot today. Yes, I did work out. I actually worked out at home today, which is not typical for me, but I have a very early flight tomorrow. I'm going out of town and I had too much to do at home. So I will actually link the workout that I did here. If you do it, you're gonna know how much I sweat. <laughs> okay, so I put this to a very good test. I just got done looking at it in my Ilios mirror. I used the magnifying mirror. I really looked up close. I'm gonna do a close up. I have not touched this foundation. I have not put any kind of touch up powder on it. I have not really even looked at it since I first applied it. And really the only thing that I'm noticing is just a little bit off on my chin, but I also did a lot of computer work today and I tend to go like this when I work on the computer. So that's pretty par for the course for a lot of foundations. But other than that, it has stayed looking pretty much the same. My forehead's a little bit shiny. That's normal for me, no matter what foundation and powder I'm wearing. I'm gonna tell you real quick the combinations that I wore. On a lot of the days that I tested this and took notes, today, obviously, the Numbuzzin with the Fit Glow powder. I've already said that's my favorite. My second favorite was the Isden Airy Fotona Ageless SPF with the Sigma soft focus setting powder. This was this and the combination I have on today were the two days where it looked the best and wore the absolute longest. So those two are my favorite out of the combinations. Another one that I liked but was 
most definitely the most glowy as the day went on was my ultraviolet lean screen mineral mattifying skin screen SPF and my lawless perfecting powder now this is it's a setting powder slash powder foundation so it did give a little bit more coverage but to be fair this one does tend to get a little glowy on me and so no matter if I wear it by itself or on top of something as a setting powder it will typically show a little bit more glow than other powders in my collection but it still wore well I didn't have any issues with it patching off or anything with this combination now the one combination that didn't work as great for me is the Polish Joyce Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Fluid and the Aero Perez Powder. Now I will say, I don't know what it was because I love these products on their own. I love them used in combination with other foundations, but for some reason with this combination and this foundation, it got not only way glowier than I am right now, way quicker, but it wasn't just the normal wear on my chin. It was like completely gone, completely gone on my chin, off of my chin by the end of the day. And quite a bit had patched off my nose. So for some reason, this combination with the foundation was not the most long wearing. So that's the only one that I was like, eh, I'm not quite sure about this. But honestly, three out of four is not bad. And all I know now after testing is just not use it with the Polish Choice SPF and the AeroPress powder. But other than that, I really, really like this. If you're someone who likes to shop at Credo Beauty, if you're someone who cares about having the clean moniker, and I put this in quotation whenever I say clean because I know that some people don't believe in it and some people swear by it. So it's going to de depend on like what your thoughts are, but everything at Credo Beauty is under that kind of clean makeup natural label. And this is no different. As far as those types of foundations, I was really actually very impressed with this. I don't think it's a serum by any means, and I would never sleep in it. But other than that, I had no irritation. There was no extra redness. I didn't have any kind of itching or burning, which sometimes can happen with foundations, no adverse reactions at all. And most of the time, 75% of the time, it lasted all day long for multiple, multiple hours on end and looked good. The main thing that I'm going to say stood out to me the most with this foundation is that I feel like it looks very, very smooth on the skin. Some foundations, I like how they look for the first six hours. And then by the time I go to wash my face at night, I feel like my pores are a little bit more visible. Maybe it has just sunk in a little too much to some places I don't want it to. And even though it may have started out looking like skin, it doesn't end up looking like skin. It ends up looking more like makeup. And I feel like this one really just is very linear throughout the entire wear. I feel like it is very smooth by the time I go to wash my face. And I just feel comfortable in it. I like how I only need one pump, so this bottle is gonna last a very long time, especially for someone like me who has as many foundations. But even if it was just your only foundation, I feel like you just don't need to use that much product. So you are gonna get a little bit of an extended time to use this foundation. I feel like it's gonna last a little bit longer. And overall, I was very impressed. So I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10 only because it doesn't work with every single thing. But other than that, I really enjoy everything about this foundation. And I think that no matter what age you are or what skin type you have, it might be worth trying out because even though I don't have any visible dry patches, I don't feel like it would be really bad on those. But also I feel like in combination skin would appreciate this, especially if they like a tad bit of glow. But I do feel like with the amount of sweating I did today, I mean, it, it stuck around. It stuck around. <laughs> so hopefully this was helpful if you had been wondering about this foundation or if you had just never heard of it and maybe it's something now on your radar. I will have this and everything else I have on my face listed and linked down below per usual. Be sure and like and subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank y'all so much for watching and I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day.